Now, there are, as you noticed when we went to that behaviors menu, a whole lot of other text-related behaviors. You go to text basic, continuous, energetic, glow, highlighter, subtle. These are all text animations. All of these are preset Basically, most of these are intros and outros. You see in the basic, arrange in, arrange out, blur in, blur out, fade character, center in, fade character, center out. They're all done in pairs. And you see these are little intro and outro graphics you can apply to your text. So I'm going to just go ahead and select one. Let's just start with poof in. And I choose poof in. And you see what happens is we get a little a little behavior that the duration is preset to be short because this is just intended to be an opening to this text. So when I press play, the little behavior starts. Let's do that again. Play it in real time there. There is our poof in and the text tracking behavior is still applied that we set earlier. So you're getting two behaviors now at the same time. If we go to our inspector and our behaviors tab, you see here is the text tracking behavior and there is the poof in behavior. Now, how does this work? Well, the way these text sequence behaviors work is that they basically animate specific parameters in your style pane. So in this case, for example, it's animating the glow, if you watch it, it's animating the glow of the, of the text. And that really looks like it's all it's doing. It's just scaling and animating that glow and fading it out. And that gives you that nice little effective, you know, glowy effect. And that's basically what's going on. This is another reason why it's so useful to have all of these settings, the outline, glow, face, and drop shadow, because these little text behaviors take advantage of all of those parameters. So let's go ahead and delete that one. I'm going to select it here in the, uh, in the mini timeline and press delete. And we go back to our basic text object, go back there. And now I'm going to choose another one. Let's choose, I'm going to choose jump out. And jump out applies, and you see here, let's just hide the HUD for a second. You can see what happens is each of the letters is going to fly out in a little sequence. Now the thing is, this creates also a short duration behavior, but it places it at the beginning of the project there because that's where my playhead was. If I, if I want this to be the end of the clip, which is pretty much what it's intended for, I need to drag that to the end. And now when I play this, it's going to make each of my letters disappear. And that's the end, right? So these little out behaviors, you need to make sure you position them in the right place. So there are all these things to choose from. Let's go ahead and delete that. And we'll just go back and look at our list again. In this category, we have blur in, drift in, fade characters in, fade lines in, pop in, rotate in. Again, any one of these, you get a setting that's going to in this case, do a little rotation. And these are called text sequence behaviors because generally what they do is they perform the same task in a sequence on letter after letter of each of the, you know, of the letters in your text object. So in this case, it's just doing a little 3D rotation and it's applying it to each letter one after another based on the setting right here.